So the third block that we're going to discuss today is the I'm Too Sexy block. <laughs> and <laughs> it's like that song, you know? Um, this, is, this is the block where um, people feel like they are subconsciously, they are, they are subconsciously scared that if they lose the weight, they will attract more attention from the opposite sex. And so um, what happens is uh, you can, you know, some women have been sexually abused in the past and they'll put on 100 pounds, 200 pounds. Some women will be sexually abused and only put on just enough extra weight so that I'm not as attractive to the opposite sex. And that was my program for a really long time. I was sexually abused. And um, I just, I, would, I didn't want to be overweight, and so I wouldn't ever let myself get past a certain point, but I always just kept this extra layer, just kind of like protection. And, um, and one, of my first ment one of my first tapping mentors, he said, well, you know, tell me about your first sexual experience. And I was like, oh, really? And, uh, you know, he said, okay, if it's bad, we need to tap on it. And then we started to get into this sexual abuse that happened to me through high school and through my teenage years. And, you know, I was kind of a promiscuous kid. And I just, you know, there's gotten to a lot of bad situations. And, you know, after, you know, whatever, five or seven or eight years of, of that, there's a lot of memories that build up. And there's a um, I needed extra weight as a form of protection because I didn't trust myself and I didn't trust the people that I put myself around. And so I did, um, I don't know, probably 10 hours of really intensive sexual abuse tapping and that my weight just fell off. It was, I was like, I wasn't hungry for two weeks. I remember I could barely eat. It was insane how my hunger levels just changed. It was like subconsciously I didn't need to eat. I didn't need to hold on to this extra weight. And so my body just knew, okay, we don't need food. And within six months, I lost all the weight that I had. Or it wasn't even six months. It was maybe three months. I lost like 20 pounds. I had no idea how I did it, but I felt happy. I felt free. I was much more sexual with my boyfriend. I realized that I was in a relationship with a man who didn't like to have sex with me, but I liked that about him when we first met. And then all of a sudden I started to change this and it was like, hey, what's going on? We're not having sex. He's like, what do you mean? This is what we've always done. Like, what? And I started to change, you know, because I released my blocks around this. And we eventually ended up breaking up because, you know, we just crossed. So um, this, is, this is probably the most, this is always where I start with people who I work with privately. Um, we start on sexual abuse. It's, it's the one thing that if you don't resolve this, you won't ever get results with your weight because you will always, always, always be fearful that something bad will happen. Somebody will do something to you. You'll get more attention. You'll make that stupid decision. Whatever it is for you, that will always trump anything else. Always. When, when I'm in a relationship, it feels like that I have, um, I think I put on the weight so I'm not attracted to other people. Yeah. Like I'm tempted. I, I don't know how that is because it's a weird. So you're not attracted to other people? Yeah. So I don't, like if somebody's attracted to me because I'm thinner, then I might go outside the relationship. So oh, when I'm yeah. in a relationship, I'm think, I think that it's something tied to that, that I gain I the weight. I don't trust myself. I don't trust myself. That's it. Yeah. Okay, good, good. Because it's all... I had that too. And that could be part of yours too. So I had that one for a long time. Every time I get into a relationship, I would gain weight. But I would always cheat on my boyfriends. And so I'd be like, okay, well, if I'm skinny and hot, and I get, out, I get all this attention. Because yeah. I didn't get attention from my parents, so I got it from men. And I still liked that even when I was in a relationship. And so I'd cheat on them and then it'd end our relationship. And then it was like, okay, well, that's not, that's not safe. So I'm going to put on this extra weight to protect myself because I don't trust myself. Yeah, that's it. Thank yeah, you. I feel that way. Yeah, yeah my, uh, my, uh, I had a client who um, cheated on his wife. He and his wife didn't have sex for like 10 years. He cheated on his wife. He had three kids. Um, she found out, got angry, divorced him, you know, threw him out or whatever, totally manipulated his children so that he didn't have a relationship with them anymore. And so what do you think he did? He put on 100 pounds so that he was never attractive to the opposite sex because if he did, what was going to happen? He was going to lose his family. 
if he ever got into a relationship, you know, he was going to lose his family. And so he just, he, he ended up attracting women who just liked him at his bigger size because that was safer. There was this one memory we went back to. He literally stood on a bridge thinking about jumping off. That's a good reason to keep 100 extra pounds on. So, you know, this is really big stuff. You know, this is, and, and you can start to see why I always say the weight is your friend. And I know that that doesn't, and I know that you hate it and it's like this thing, I wanna get it off of my body, I hate this. It is there for a good reason. You just have to find out what that reason is. And it's all about being a detective. And so that's the work that we do here is that with these subconscious blocks, you know, and these visualizations that I'm taking you through and the talks that we're having, you're gonna figure out what's, what, what it is for you, what your block is, what's stopping you. And then once you do, the weight falls off and it's done, you know? Sometimes it takes, you know, one session, sometimes it takes two years, you know? But it does come off, it will, and you'll start to see progress little by little over time. So, and you know, when we deal with these things, you know, obviously you can see the people that are dealing with their stuff, these, these are deeply emotional, very deep-rooted things, and you might not be ready to do them all at once, you know what I mean? So if they don't come all come up to the surface right away, or if you clear some and then you have some more, that's normal. If they all come up to the surface, you'd be like in a psycho pen or something, you know, like they, someone would take you to the crazy ward. So these things will come up and you'll clear them when you're ready to clear them.